To write the name for OF2, we first need to realize what type of compound we have. We can look on the periodic table and we can see oxygen that's right here next to fluorine. So we have two nonmetals. That means this is a molecular or covalent compound. So when we write the formula, we need to take that into consideration. So since we have this molecular compound, first we're going to write the name for both elements. We have oxygen and then fluorine. Next, we change the ending on the second element to IDE. So we cross out the INE, IDE. So at this point, we have oxygen fluoride is the name for OF2. But because it's a molecular compound, we're going to use prefixes. We're going to put them in front of each element based on how many atoms are present. So we'll use this chart down here to help us. For oxygen, even though it's first and we only have one oxygen atom, we never write mono on the first element. We do, however, have a capital letter for the first name. For the fluorine, we have two fluorine atoms. And since we have two fluorine atoms, we use the prefix di. So we're going to have oxygen di fluoride. So the name for OF2 is oxygen di fluoride. If you were given the name, you'd know that oxygen di fluoride is OF2. You have oxygen by itself, so there's only one. And the di tells you that there are two fluorine atoms. This is Dr. V with the name for OF2, oxygen difluoride. Thanks for watching.